Hey, how's it going? Chris here. Got a break in the weather, so I decided I'd get out here and work on my corner solar panel cradle system. The whole goal is to get these 12 panels away from the side of the house where I get shading for about two to three hours every morning, especially in the summertime, and move these onto the cradle system. And I'm going to be using uh, stock A posts. We'll go up here a little bit closer and I'll show you what's going on. Uh, but this morning was to work out the logistics and footprint for this cradle system. And let me show you some of the things that I found out, which is actually really good. First off, big picture. I'm going to have these panels at a 51 to 53 degree angle, which is a year-round good angle for uh, exposure to the sun. And I measured this pipe here for the exact uh, footprint of the panels. So that's how high the top corner of the panel will be. It will be right up there. So the big thing was, uh, you know, to get rocking and rolling on this thing is to find out where I'm going to put my three 10-foot stockade posts. So after lots of measuring and leveling and everything else, I came up with really close to where these wood posts are. However, these wood posts are going to be gone. I'm going to cut those off and put in 10-foot stockade posts with grout filled so it'll be stupid, solid, strong. You know, go down 24 inches and all that. And this 10-foot super strut right here will made up right on the corner there. Three of them. And also will put a, a buttress into the fence there too. So it'll have a lot of rigidity. A lot of rigidity. Now here's the cool thing that I came up with and I was very, very, very aware of what I wanted to do with cleaning and maintenance of these panels because that's very important. Check this out. I've even made little marks on here to show you. This is 30 inches from the fence here. 36 is what I planned for. 40 is was ideal, but it ended up being four feet, which is even better. So now I can walk in front of these panels, you know, duck underneath or throw a ladder over or whatever, but it'd be really easy because the panels it will go up that way, right? And I'll just be able to walk right in front of it. And also we'll put in a, um, a stake here. Simple stake. Easy, easy ground mount stake for, for strength. And this is just sitting up here with, you know, these little tent things. Just for checking angles and stuff. <clears throat> yeah, but this is going to work out really good. See my other panels there? Those are the 12 that are going to get moved over here to the left. And that's right up against the house. I make like very, very little power up to about 11 o'clock. And once the sun hits them, yeah, it's good. Afternoon, it's good. But also, this angle right here for winter, it still doesn't get shade. And I check that uh, many, many, many times. So even with that sun at a lower angle, you know, hitting this way, it's still going to hit the panels in the winter time, which is awesome. Uh, yes, I am going to get shade in the afternoon a little bit over there. Uh, and that's kind of a bummer, but it won't be as bad as um, as you think. But this is, this is a, uh, the high corner, so this will be the best angle the best position in suburbia here for this uh, array. And that panel over there, or that array over there, is just cranking. And I still have the option of putting th six more panels, three on each side, which will be very easy to do if I need more power. But it looks like I'm doing pretty good on that department. So, all right guys, just wanted to show you the update here and logistics and site survey planning for this new array. It looks like a lot of work, but it really isn't that bad. Uh, the hard part is just going to be putting in three holes here.
two, and three over here. But it is, it's gonna work out good. It's gonna work out really, really good. Okay. That's where she's gonna be. Doo -doo -doo. Thanks for watching. See ya.